Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel. This is the one and only Silo Man coming to you from an underground launch control facility in a former Atlas F intercontinental ballistic missile base outside Roswell, New Mexico, USA. And over the next 15 minutes, I'll hope to take you through some interesting photographs of where we're at this week. What you can see right now is well, we're at the top of the stairwell. We're coming in through the blast lock and I happen to have my great grandmother's sewing machine, which I'm, I'm just gonna put on behind one of the petitions on the upper level for safekeeping for the time being. As you can see here, we're working on the, the area behind the petitions on the upper level. You can see where the original handrail was. That's the original steel floor. And what we're doing, we're just simply going along and we've already sanded and we're just we're just cleaning it all up and getting ready to put down a coat of paint. We'll put down some uh, a Rust-Oleum sealer and then uh, we're going to come back and go ahead and paint the, we've already prepped the handrails and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and start doing that and as you can see we're coming around the very, very back end. And we'll just keep working our way uh, back to the opening. You can see I'm, I'm taking a shot there at the electrical panel, which I've been working on. Um, adding extra circuits for everything we've been doing and then when we get that finished. Right now I'm just placing everything that was behind that wall right there. And you can see some water, some oh, a, well, a stick welder, a cutting torch, settling outfit, you know, different, just different things that we've got back there in storage for the time being. More like out of sight, out of mind. Um, and there you can see we're starting to paint as we come back through. And so uh, that one panel right there on your left, that's coming in from the tower. Uh, we've got a lot of connectivity up on the tower and other types of communication. So I try to bring that in through that way. And uh, as you can see, we're starting to do the handrail and we're working our way back. Now we've got about two-thirds of it done. That's just a little sub-feed panel that I put in to take care of some of the, the electrical on the, the back slash office or, or bedroom. And the reason being was just to cut to, to kind of cut back on the long runs that I'd have to make otherwise. So and here's another one of those uh, one, another one of the, the panels that we're using. I used to have a Vonage uh, phone service and I, I had it brought into there and uh, and as you can see, we're coming on around. And this is in the little kitchenette that we just put in until we get the main kitchen done. Um, you can see the other lower panel there. That's the emergency backup generator. And then, uh, of course, I just have little fans over the, the vents. And our, in our dishes, we just stacked up there because we moved everything out because we wanted to get ready to, to paint that floor see where we've moved everything out for the time being. Uh, the reason I, I built such a big area right there was just in case for if we had to put anything very large in there we could. Uh, and granted too though you've got to get through a 34 inch door so. But anyway we didn't think it would be too bad. And there you can see some of the stuff we got piled up in the middle of the room that came from back there. little bar refrigerator we've got. That's about 35, almost 40 years old. Um, that's our little refrigerator we use in the water dispenser. We've gone ahead and again, you, as you, if you've been following these, we prepped all of the walls. We're getting ready to do the kitchen and the bathroom and all of the other walls. We're going to paint them a two-tone and you'll be seeing that in the next few minutes. That's some of the area that we were just stacking into the, what will become the kitchen area. And you can see we're starting to paint the floors we're coming back out. You'll notice this little black box on the right. That's a, a, a Wilson Electronics. They call it a Wee Boost. Wow, what a great piece of equipment. It's a little spendy, but it gives us complete uh, cellular service underground. And it's just, oh, we just can't get enough of it. All of us can have our phones, and our, our laptops, 
and everything else. So it's really wonderful. There you can see we've come we've come on around. And they're looking into the kitchen area, you can see. So it works out pretty good. And again, another shot from over there. So. Looking down at the floor itself. Really come out well. Well, we're starting in the office slash bedroom and we're working in the very, very back. You can see we painted the walls. Now we're going to just work our way right on back. You can see what Manny's doing there. We'll be going through where we've got that offset with just that drywall up there now for the shelving and we're just going to trim it out. You can see what we painted. And there again is the office. We're just working our way back through. I hope this isn't boring for everybody, but some people keep asking me privately, you know, would you please take us through this? And sure. Part of the storage area off of the office. And that's the utility room. We're going to paint it the solid color also. It will only be the outside front area that we're going to do the two-tone. We'll put a chair rail up, so it'll, it should be interesting. We, I've done this before. and then I haven't decided yet on the crown molding. We took the measurements, uh, in fact, just today, the 26th, um, for the trim. And we'll do trim, obviously, around the doors, the baseboard, and then we'll do the chair rail. And we're looking at a crown molding, so it should be kind of interesting. What we'll come back and do, and then I've been playing with cut different colors on on the on the column, on the mushroom column, and so you'll get to see that. Just another shot of of, of standing where I was in the entryway doorway, looking into the stairwell and on up to the blast lock. And there you can see that one little utility room we're painting it also. Got everything back into the other area. That's coming out pretty nice. I need to work on the settings. Please forgive me again too on the settings of this camera. For some reason it just looks so yellow and mustardy and it's not. So <laughs> anyway that's Manny. And then there's the, there's a good look at the utility room itself with the sink next to the bathroom. And the other side is the, will be the kitchen. Now we're just coming back through and we're, we're doing that kind of that long hallway. The one little area you may notice on the right where the louvered doors are, that's where the manifold is for the plumbing and where the um, um, hot water on demand is and just things like that. Yeah, see, that that's not so yellow. It's more of a tan, so it's... And there you have it as we're coming around. And as we come clear on around.
And then there we started painting the other color on the bottom. Then we'll come back and the chair rail will be the third color to tie everything in. And then of course the baseboard. And the and whatever style of crown we want to put in her. And I re we really just haven't decided yet. So that's one of the reasons I'm back to go in and see the warehouse for all the trim and see what we want on the, the crown molding and this and that. And then I'll be going I'll be going back to Roswell tomorrow. So it's not bad for a quick two day job and then Right now, and I'm sorry I didn't get any pictures of that this morning, but we've already prepped the doors and put some oil-based kills on those doors. And we've already, I think you'll be seeing towards the end, you'll, go, you'll see that the kitchen that we've already primed and, and um, getting ready to finish it in the floor. And so it's all starting to come together. Now we're on the lower level. We went ahead and, and painted starting in the back on, on one side. We're coming across the top as we're moving around. This one we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go with a, a slightly just a beige color, not the white that you're seeing there because that's basically just a primer. And so you'll be seeing, uh, we'll, we'll come back with a different color there that should tie in nicely with the chair rail and the other trim in the baseboard. Here we were playing with some colors right there in the corner. I think we're going to go with a dark brown. Um, a rust -oleum. and here were just some different colors you'll see that beige we're going to use on the lower level so it should be pretty interesting and when we finally get it all tied in together and coming around the column We'll probably in the next few weeks also be, once we get all the painting done, I want to get the painting done and get the uh, uh, the outlets in and then we'll go ahead and I'll put the new panel in down there on the lower level and then we'll get everything energized, ticked and tied. You may notice this, this was a faux pas, it wasn't mine, it was from the paint manufacturer. Uh, believe it or not, Sherwin Williams on the oil base high gloss that we use, and that was just a bad color. But given that you know we're already outside of Roswell and uh, roughly 18 miles, which isn't bad, but even so, you can really see the difference in the color. So, we this will be used as the first coat, and then we'll come back and do everything with the, the, more of the color on the right and uh, get the second on that as we work our way out and then of course if, if there's any droppage or anything like that this is just the first coat on this so it's really not that great of a deal and we'll go ahead and shoot uh, sheet the floor so that really come really really came out well and there's the other side of the lower level on the And there's the kitchen. We've already we've given it the, the primer coat. Taking the measurements for the new custom cabinets. And we'll be picking them up in two or three weeks. Uh, there's the bathroom. We were just sheeting everything off and, and getting ready to uh, put the primer on the, uh, on the walls and the ceiling. And there's a, another shot from near the column looking into the bathroom itself. And it came out well. Primer did a real nice job. Real nice job. I think we're getting the custom uh, vanity any, any day now. 
Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very, very much for for watching. If you would, please, please subscribe and, and click that bell for new updates. And, and also, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. Again, if you have any comments, please don't hesitate to leave them down below. Thank you.